diecast community welcome to another video guys today we are heading inside the hot wheels room guys to show you everything i found over the weekend i found a lot of jdm pieces yes yes very excited about that guys all right guys since we are working our way to the hot wheels room to show you everything i found over the weekend let me take advantage and tell you some pieces that i'm very excited to add to my collection one of them is the toyota soar with the falcon livery i really want to add that piece to my drift ball section oh that's gonna look so sexy look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, red light. Ah! nobody saw this red light ah! <laughs> yep that just happened <laughs> i couldn't break guys it was a little too late uh, anyways and another piece that I'm very excited to add to my collection and this is not a premium this is a mainline guys the Honda Civic SI the color variation the white one we already saw the golden nugget or the chicken nugget yes we did and I still don't have that piece in my collection can you guys believe that man and I'm the JDM dude <laughs> oh another piece that i'm very excited to add in my collection by the boulevard line guys the new toyota supra oh that bad boy is sexy man and guess what that's definitely going inside the drift wall section because it's an fd car man Woo! i'm also excited for the mitsubishi 3000 gt because of the color oh sexy almost like the jdm flag we are almost inside the Hot Wheels room to show you everything I found over the weekend. Very excited to show you guys. I found a lot of JDM pieces, man. Now, if you're wondering why wasn't I filming, well, I wasn't expecting to find anything. I was with the family, so yeah, guys. Mm. You know what's crazy? When you're looking for things, you don't find anything. And when you're not looking for anything, they're all up in your face, especially when you're broke. I swear to God. <laughs> All right, guys, you know how I'm in the middle of purging my Hot Wheels collection. Well, guess what, man? I'm so excited to keep nothing but JDM pieces and USDM pieces. And of course, with some exceptions, guys. Yes, yes. I'm not completely getting rid of everything that is not JDM. But yeah, mainly everything is leaving, guys. And I'm so excited how my Hot Wheels room is going to turn out, guys, because I'm going to have a drift wall section and more sections that I don't want to talk about just yet because I've never seen another uh, content creator you know putting this out there so yeah man I want to be the first the first man definitely guys this is going to be a one of a kind Hot Wheels room I reassure you of that man all right guys we are almost arriving to the Hot Wheels room see you guys in there to show you everything I found over the weekend very excited for this all right diecast community welcome to my hot wheels room guys let me give you a 360 degree view of what my hot wheels room looks like this is a spare room in my house where i only use this for displaying all my diecast and where i'm going to create a lot of my content so this is the aka the office but yeah guys i have a lot of jdm pieces i want to show you guys so let's get started with this showcase man and look, I got my coffee ready already, man. This is me and my son right there, man. The JDM dude. All right, guys. Waste no time. Check this out. The 1992 Honda Civic EG, man. This is a JDM piece since it is a right-hand wheel drive versus a left-hand wheel drive, a USDM. I do keep track of those details, guys. And boy, am I excited to have this Honda Civic EG. I could relate to this car in so many ways guys man me being the JDM dude just imagine how excited I am to finally have this piece in my collection and oh boy man look at those laced wheels no details for the rear lights but we definitely have nice details for the front lights and the Honda emblem and on the side door it reads Honda and it does have Japanese letters whatever it says there who knows and those lace wheels definitely complements this casting and omg am i happy that hot wheels went with a black base it really complements those mud flats and it really complements that front lip blacked out oh man that is a very great 
touch, man. Honestly, that's a very great touch. Waste no time, man. Check this out. Another Honda Civic, but this is a 1973 Honda Civic Custom with a rally race car livery. This is a right hand wheel drive. This is a JDM piece versus a USDM piece. And unfortunately, guys, we don't have nothing for the front lights or rear, but we do have a badass race car livery with the number 73 on the side door, the Honda logo or emblem on the side door. We do have blacked out five spoke wheels. And none the least, guys, a beautiful piece for my collection. I do have a rally race car section, and this is a Japanese car, so damn. All right, guys, up next, we have the custom 71 Datsun 240Z, aka the Rotson. Now, this is a badass piece, man. This is the second one in my collection. I won one loose and one carded. So finally, I'm going to be able to open this one up. And this is based on a barn find, guys. Here's the car when they first found it. And here's what it looks like after Roadkill worked on it. They made it into a project car, man. Now, these two pieces are RLC pieces. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this beautiful Datsun, man. And oh, boy, it does not disappoint one bit. Now, this definitely looks like a barn find. This car looks like it's weathered down. And let me tell you something, man. Those rear lights are nice and detailed. The front windshield reads Rotson. Oh boy, man. Am I excited to have this piece in the collection? I'm a huge fan of Roadkill, The Donut Show, Hoonigan, Jay Leno. Pieces like that, guys. I'm a huge sucker for that, man. A huge one. In a separate video, guys, I'm definitely going to open up this Rotson since this is the second one in my collection. I'm going to keep that one carded. That's the one condition I have. If I want to open something up, I need a second one. If no, that's a big no-no. Not for me, guys. All right, guys. Up next, we have this beautiful Ultra Hot. This is a Mazda Repu. Now, regarding Mix 2, this is the only Japanese casting on this line. Check this out, guys. The one that I do have an exception for, I think is the Volkswagen Cafe Racer. But other than that guys, I was only interested in this Mazda Repu man. This is a beautiful Japanese casting. And this is a left hand wheel drive, so this is a USDM piece. We do have great details for the front lights and signal lights. We have amazing details for the rear lights and oh boy another japanese casting for my collection oh i almost forgot we will get off topic just for a second since this is not a jdm piece guys but check this out man this is another ultra hot mix 2 something that i have an exception for and here's why my father loves his firebirds in real life and oh boy anything that reminds me of the old man it's mandatory in my collection now this one has great details regarding the rear lights and the reverse lights. This one has a metal base, which I was a bit surprised. And the Firebird is nice and detailed. And oh boy, am I excited to have this one in the collection. All right, guys, check this out. The 1988 Mazda RX-7, the second color variation. The first time we ever saw this Mazda RX-7, it was in white. Let me tell you something, I personally hate convertible cars, but when it comes down to any Japanese car, that's definitely mandatory for my collection. And look at that engine, that rotary engine is nice and detailed. So yeah guys, this is definitely mandatory for my collection. Matchbox should have done this, a hard top man. All right guys, check this out. I'm very surprised to find some of these castings. I'm going to showcase these four together since this is apparently the 54 anniversary set, the 55 and the 56. And yes, I found these four castings yesterday, guys. And check this out. Regarding the 54 anniversary set, this is the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. And over here we have the Datsun Fair Lady. Now regarding the 54 anniversary set, these are the only two Japanese castings. And they are the only ones that I'm interested in. And I found this on pegs. And over here, guys, we have the 55th anniversary. This is the 01 Acura Integra GSR. 
and apparently this is the only Japanese casting in this line but I will say I, I would have an exception regarding the Porsche 993 GT2 that's an exception that's a beautiful car man and regarding the 56th anniversary check this out guys the custom 70 Honda N600 I'm not a fan of this type of temples I'm not gonna lie to you guys but the fact that they are Japanese cars that's mandatory in my collection and regarding the 56th anniversary I'm only in interested in this Honda N600 and the Toyota Land Cruiser and that's about it this is a beautiful example of a JDM or USDMP. For example, this RLC, that's a right hand wheel drive Integra. So that's a Honda Integra Type R. That's a JDM piece. This is the American version. This is a USDM. And why? Because this is a left hand wheel drive. So this is the Acura Integra we see in the USA. This is why it's called Acura Integra versus Honda Integra. All right, guys, up next, man, we have the 1970 Toyota Celica by the Neon Speeder. Now, this is a line I was really looking forward to because if you pay attention to the entire set, nothing but Japanese cars. The Datsun 510 Wagon, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, the Mazda RX-7 Drift, the Mitsubishi Eclipse, the Nissan 350Z, the Acura Integra, and oh boy man here is the toyota celica with great details on the rear lights now we do have the new wheels for the neon speeders not a huge fan of them but hey eh, they're all right not complaining necessarily but yeah guys regarding the front lights that's part of the windshield great piece for the collection none the least all right guys check this out man this is the 1991 mazda mx5 miata i'm very excited to have this casting in my collection one this is a japanese car two i do have a wall section dedicated to all my drift cars the miata is hilariously well known for a 50 50 weight distribution so that means this car believe it or not for drifting this is the perfect car to learn on and believe it or not guys i used to own a miata back in my early 20s and yeah guys this car brings a lot of memories it touches my heart deeply and by the way guys if you ever want to learn how to drift this is the car to do so up next we have the mazda rx7 the police variation i don't really collect my police cars guys but this is a mazda rx7 that i collect this is a japanese car so that's highly mandatory in my collection regardless and definitely this mazda rx7 is going to make it into my collection up next we have this beautiful 1994 mitsubishi 3000 gt this is by matchbox a company owned by mattel by hot wheels now and yeah guys this is another usdm piece i was about to call it jdm but it's not this is a usdm piece guys uh, this is definitely a car i remember seeing on the road a lot a car i could relate to a lot so yeah guys and look check this out we have great details regarding the signal lights the mitsubishi emblem the front lights is part of the windshield that's a great touch and the rear lights are nice and detailed and i do have every single color variation up to date thanks to this piece now check this out this is the porsche 911 gt3 now regarding my porsches i have a huge exception regarding that casting i do collect my porsches very heavily and check this one out guys by matchbox we have great details regarding the front lights look at that blacked out lip front lip five spoke chrome wheels and we have the rear lights nice and detailed the gt3 badge nice and detailed and oh boy are you welcome to my collection buddy all right guys check this out new for 2024 a new batmobile casting and here it is guys i do have a huge exception regarding my movie cars let alone the batmobile and let me tell you why because this reminds me so much of my childhood i remember growing up watching batman so much and the fast and the furious yep that's mandatory guys a lot of us are car guys nowadays thanks to these movies they really did a good job brainwashing us they sure did 
but at the same time I'm not complaining guys. I love cars and motorcycles thanks to these movies and here we are guys. So yes guys I do have a wall section dedicated to all my movie cars and here's a new Batmobile for my collection and this beautiful ice charger. I think this is the second and third variation in my collection. Alright guys check this out according to my best friend Carlos this is the Chase Lightning McQueen and like I said I do have a wall section dedicated to all my movie cars since I do remember watching a lot of Lightning McQueen when my son was like a year old or two that's when he was really into it he's still into it but not as much as he used to be but definitely it reminds me so much of my son according to Carlos this is the Chase piece this is the spectra flame type of color even though the lighting is not helping that much and let me tell you something the camera's not really picking it up that much but yeah guys let me know in the comments down below if this is a chase piece and let me tell you why the same day that me and carlos we found this piece i found so many of them in different targets and i was thinking wait if this is a chase piece why is there so many of them but i could be wrong guys this is definitely the spectra flame paint if we could call it that then yeah guys this is definitely going to make it into my collection if it is the chase piece since it reminds me so much of my son and i do have a movie wall section all right guys here's a highlight of everything i found yesterday saturday and i will more than likely be posting this video sunday night since i do need to edit the living crap out of it and it takes a bit of time but yeah guys, these are definitely all the JDM pieces in my collection with few exceptions like the Ice Charger, the Batmobile, the Lightning McQueen Chase piece. If it is the Chase piece, I hope so. And let's see what else. And the Porsche 911 GT3 guys. Well, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully in the next video, I will be doing motor vlogging with peg hunting guys. So see you in the next video. Peace.